हरि ओम इन दिस पार्ट वी डिस्कस इलास्टिसिटी इट इज कमिंग अंडर द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ बल्क मैथ चैप्टर व्हाट इज इलास्टिसिटी यू मैट हैव सीन दैट सर्टेन मटेरियल्स व्हेन दे आर अप्लाइड विद अ फोर्स ए स्ट्रेचिंग फोर्स इट स्ट्रेचेस एंड स्टे इन द स्ट्रेच फोर्स But if you take a rubber band, for example, you take a rubber band and stretch it; it stretches. But if you release that stretching force, you can find that it is going back and regaining its original shape and configuration. So there are certain materials possessing this particular property to regain the original configuration, I mean shape and size. After the removal of the deforming force, those materials are called elastic materials, and that particular property is called elasticity. So it can be defined as the property by virtue of which the material can regain its original configuration after the removal of the deforming force. So you all must know. What is deforming force? The name deforming force. This is nothing but a force that deforms the body. That is, that changes the shape of the body. A stretching force, or a compressing force, or a twisting force, whatever it is. Okay. So when that force applies. Or it is applied on a body. The body is formed to be changing its shape, a kind of strain produced on it. So when the body is strained by the deforming force, there develops another force inside the body. That force is called restoring force. there comes another force inside that force is making the body to regain its original configuration and that force is called restoring force actually this restoring force is developed due to the strain of the body by applying the deforming force so what is strain or how we measure strain produced Strain. Actually, the strain is measured in terms of the change in dimension produced by original dimension. Strain. Change in dimension divided by original. Dimension. This change in dimension to the original dimension. What is dimension here? Basically, there are three types of strains you can assume. One is stretching. That is, the length is increasing. Then, change in volume possible. And the third one is change in shape. So based on that, we can have three different strains. One is longitudinal strain or linear strain. This linear strain we can define it as change in length by original length. And the second one is volumetric strain. Volumetric strain or volume strain. Actually, this volume strain is nothing but change in volume produced by original volume. And then comes the third one that is.
sharing strength. This sharing means twisting or change of shape. So if you want to measure the sharing strength, you can consider a case here that I have a box kept on the surface here and that force is fixed there and if I apply a force tangentially on the surface, say so deforming force. When I apply a force tangentially on the surface, you can see that the upper surface will be moving and the upper face will be tilting a little bit and the body changes its shape like this. So the shape is changed by the tangential force applied. So the angle through which this side is being moved can be taken as the measure of shearing strain. Okay? So three different strains we have. One is longitudinal, volumetric and the third one shearing strain. And in all this thing, you can find that this strain is a unitless, dimensionless variable base. Okay? Now, another term we want to study here is this strain is actually produced due to the stress you are developing on the body. Okay? Or what you say the strain, actually it's not that, strain that is producing what? Another quantity called stress. Means when the body is getting strained, it develops a force inside that is making the body to regain its original shape. We named it as restoring force. So strain develops another quantity called stress. That stress is all uh, familiar words you can remember always. Stress is a kind of uh, pressure you see here, and the stress is defined as the restoring force, restoring force per area on which it has been acted. So, restoring force per area is called the stress and its unit is Newton per meter square and you can find that the same as that of pressure. Okay? So, stress, it is developed by the straining of the body and depending upon the three types of strains you can find that there are three different types of stress being done. One is linear stress, linear stress, this is nothing but the linear force acting per unit area. This is the restoring force developed due to the stretching of the body. Okay, then that length is taking that comes the linear force acting per unit area. Then comes next one. Actually, the next one is volume strain. That volume strain is caused by normal stress. Normal stress means the normal force acting either normally inward or normally outward. That normal force by area, this is nothing but you can equate with what? Pressure. And the third one is tangential tangential stress. So there is nothing but tangential force per area. Again, it comes as force per area, but this force is tangential force per area. 
So these are the three, but basically in all case we will be representing that as f by a. Okay, depending upon the way the force is being developed, we name them like normal or linear or tangential. Okay, so these are the two or four basic terms you are supposed to remember on this deforming force, restoring force, then stress three times, strain three times. And remember, this elasticity is the property of all the three different states of matter. Gas will be having this property, liquid and also solid. So we will be discussing that in the next time.